Organization is the key to success. This applies to everything, from your business, to your home, all the way to the websites you work on. As a web developer, you pride yourself on sleek design and precisely functioning websites, but sometimes the back end can be a huge mess with plugins, alerts, posts, and clutter. Navigating through this irritating mess whenever you visit the WordPress admin dashboard can be extremely annoying, counterproductive, and even stressful. But it doesn't have to be this way. Here are five strategies that can help you organize your WordPress sites and make your life a little easier. We see the dashboard constantly and hardly ever give it a second thought. But I don't blame you. There's just an overload of unnecessary information in there. Declutter your dashboard. Remove the unnecessary information and do away with those widgets you'll never use. It's as simple as a few clicks. By clicking on that tiny button at the top of your dashboard labeled Screen Options, it gives you a drop-down menu of screen elements or dashboard widgets that you can hide or show with a click of a button. If you don't want to see the site health status or welcome message, just uncheck those boxes and declutter your dashboard. There. Isn't that better? If that's not easy enough, you can use plugins like the Dashboard Widgets Suite to help with a variety of tasks, like displaying system info and error logs, or adding notes for users and displaying RSS feeds. Another area that you can organize and minimize is the admin menu. That black menu in WordPress backends, it can often get cluttered up as you download different plugins and use different themes, and that can get very confusing. Some plugins end up going under settings, others have their own main menu entry, some are under appearance. Ugh, it can be a nightmare finding the right settings for plugins you just installed. We've all got plugin problems, and I know it might sound counterintuitive, but there's an extremely handy plugin that can help us organize the other plugins. The Admin Menu Editor plugin does exactly what its name suggests. It lets you customize the admin menu as much as you want. You can change the ordering, name, and even create submenus. You can also group different menu items together, like all plugin menu items, much cleaner. You can completely remove menu items you never use and set role-based menus for different users, or make menus open in new tabs. You can customize your heart out and organize the WordPress admin menu to have a cleaner and more efficient website backend. The concept of folders is one of the simplest yet most time-saving inventions ever. Imagine having every single file on your computer scattered all over your desktop without any structure, hierarchy, or association. You wouldn't even want to touch that computer. <sighs> Unfortunately, this is how you can feel whenever you go to WordPress's media or posts and pages sections. Every single uploaded image, every post or page just displayed out there in a grid or list, sorted by the date it was uploaded, but no smart structure or association. Wouldn't it be cool if you could organize them into folders so you can find them easier later? Well, there's good news, you can. Folders is an amazing plugin that, as its name suggests, helps you organize your images, posts, pages, and more into folders. You can activate folders for anything, from media to posts, pages, portfolio items, menu items, anything. And within them, you can put in images and post in multiple folders, or make special folders by starring them. Name them whatever you wish, and organize your clients' websites like never before, making it easier for anyone to navigate through the backend with less clutter. Labeling your posts and content with categories and tags. It works twofold to help organize your sites for users and for yourself in the WordPress backend. Whenever you create a blog post or any custom post, like products or items, you can set both categories and tags to sort them out and help filter through them later. Although similar, Categories and tags are two separate distinctions. Categories are more for general grouping, and tags help in labeling posts with certain keywords. For example, if I write a blog on cloud computing, I could use different categories to describe which cloud services I'm using. For example, Azure, AWS, or Google Cloud. And the tags could be used more liberally, describing what blogs are talking about. Tags could be about cloud computing, machine learning, storage, you get the picture. 
Most WordPress themes and blogs can sort posts according to categories and tags, which makes it easier for visitors to get what they want. In the back end, you can also see which posts are in which categories, or contain certain tags. You can then filter them out with a click of a button. So if you want to review all the posts you have about Azure, say to add a link, you can simply click Azure in the categories and get every post written about Azure. Saving the best for last, the ultimate tool in organizing all your WordPress websites in one place, The Hub by GoDaddy Pro. Think of The Hub as a control center for all your WordPress sites. You can add sites hosted both on GoDaddy and other hosts. The Hub just sparks joy in me. It's an amazing way to organize all your websites in one place. The Hub allows you to bulk update plugins, do cleanups, delete old plugins or pages, set up alerts and perform periodic security performance checks, and even to back up your sites. The Hub also allows you to manage your GoDaddy clients and attach sites and projects to them. This way, you can organize a list of your clients and the sites you've made for them, as well as logging in directly to your client's GoDaddy backend. You can create and manage projects, keeping your current progress and work to do organized and in check. The Hub takes WordPress management to a whole new level. These tips will improve your professionalism and make working on any number of sites less strenuous. Make your life easier just by organizing your dashboard, menu, media, and posts. And use the Hub to organize all the WordPress sites you manage. These tips can be immensely helpful in decluttering and organizing your clients' websites. You can find all the plugin links mentioned in the video description below. All right, devs, if this type of content is helpful for you, like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell to make sure you never miss an upload. We'd like to hear from you. Comment below any website development and design tips you'd like us to cover. See you again in our next episode.